this video, I'm literally about to change your life for the better. I truly, genuinely, 100% believe if you watch this video, that your life will be changed for the better. If you do what I say in this video for at least 30 days, two months, three months, you will see a positive change in your life. If you do not see a positive change, you can come back to this video and tell me, you know what Liz, you're a fraud, you're a liar. You can comment it. This is how much I believe in this video. I'm about to change your life, so keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's get right into this video because this is genuinely my most important video. Okay, first thing I want you to do, I want you to take pen and paper and I want you to write down your dream life as if it already happened, as if you're already living it. You write that down. This is important and I'm gonna tell you why, okay. So uh, one year ago, right? One year ago, I was really still depressed. Like, you know, I, I, w I did not know what to do. Like I, I was like in such a rut kind of, and, and I didn't know how to get out of it. So I had nothing to lose as well. You know, I was like, Ugh, I just really don't know where I'm going. This is not what I want. My manifestations are not coming true. Why is this not working? Whatever. My last resort was always to write something down because I did not believe this would actually work. Okay, what happened? I take the pen and paper. Mind you, this was, a, I was in rock bottom. I write down, I am living in this country. My partner is this person. My partner spoils me and buys me everything I want. Um, I am a successful YouTuber. Uh, my career is being a successful YouTuber. I earn a lot of money with YouTube. Uh, I travel wherever I want. I can afford whatever I want. I wrote everything that I wanted down as if it was happening right now. One year later, I'm living exactly the life that I wrote down. And let me tell you something. I did not believe in this. I did not believe in like, you know, writing it down. I knew a lot about manifestation. I knew a lot about it. I just did not believe that if I wrote something down, it would actually happen. And I also still do not believe that it happened because of the paper. You know what did happen though? When I wrote it down, subconsciously, my mind, I, I, I forgot about the paper, right? But I knew I wrote it down and I knew it would happen. And I don't know why. Like I just knew, I registered it in my mind. And what happened is my mind started working towards my goals. Even though I was like not even thinking about it anymore. My mind, the, it's almost like your mind does not know the difference between reality and what you put them, like uh, what, what you write down, right? So you write, I am living this lifestyle. I have this blah, 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 whatever. Your mind does not know what's real and what's not. It only knows what you tell your mind. So that's why as well, like if you constantly think about the past, if you constantly think about like that heartbreak and over and over regret, again, you cry about it, you cry about it. What happens is your mind thinks that over and over again, you're getting heartbroken, but that's not the reality. But your mind doesn't know that, you know? So that's how you can manipulate the mind into thinking that you're living a great life. You are healthy. You are, uh, well, uh, you are wealthy. You have a good partner, you know? So when I did that, I think what happened is my mind registered. Okay. These are the goals. This is where we're going. There is no way that she won't get this because she decided that this is what she wants. And this is what she, I decided. This is the reality that will happen. This is the reality I create for myself. This is what I want. And you know what is beautiful about rock bottom? You have nothing left to lose. That's why I tell people that are watching my videos that are depressed, congratulations, because you can be the most powerful manifester because you have nothing to lose, nothing. Stop watching stupid videos. Stop listening to stupid people. Stop listening to stupid music, okay? When I was in my depressive, like, life, whatever, my depressed, like, episodes, like, this was insane. The only thing I would listen to is sad songs because, you know, I resonated with them. They made me sadder. 
I would look at stupid people doing, literally doing stupid things, not involving me at all. And so I was stuck in a rut because what I watch, what I listen to constantly is my reality. People that I hang around with is my reality. Show me what you watch. Show me what you listen to. Show me who you hang around with. That is you. That is you. And you cannot tell me otherwise. Mom used to tell me, Liz, the friends you have is who you are. And I would be like, no, that's not true. Whatever. What are you saying? Because obviously, like, I did not have, like, you know what? I didn't even have friends. So that's worse. That's even worse. Now I realize, like, if I start hanging out with certain people, you know how quick, how quick my habits turn into theirs and their habits turn into mine? How quick we change into each other? And it does not matter how evolved I am right now, how much I know, how much knowledge I've done, how much I have healed. One person that I'm hanging out with can literally change me completely. That's the power of the people that are around you. There's one thing, if you have a toxic family and like you don't really have anywhere to go, then I would say stick to yourself, try to like really be by yourself, try to evolve like alone on your own, you know, things like that. But imagine, imagine being able to choose your friends, to choose what you look at, to choose what you listen to, and then choosing the toxic ones. Do you hate yourself? Like really, do you hate yourself? You can look at me and say, she does not know what she's talking about, whatever, okay. Come back to me in two years with the same friends you have and tell me that you guys are not the same. Know as well how hard and draining it is for people that want to be successful, that want to become better, to have friends that constantly pull them down. You know how draining that is? And imagine choosing that burden. Okay, I got this idea from Joe Dispenza. Basically, you create a mind movie with daily affirmations. What is a mind movie? Okay, so I made this with a TikTok. Like I just made a little TikTok video. It's like one minute and I have this on my phone. Uh, I saved it privately, it's on my phone. Basically what happens is you go onto Pinterest, right? And you search for pictures. For example, you want a luxury lifestyle. You search luxury lifestyle on Pinterest or Google images, doesn't matter. You take the images you like. Then uh, for example, you want money, you search money. You take images from money. You want uh, health, yeah, you can even like healthy, the word healthy or whatever you look it up. You want love, you search for a partner that you want or like a loving couple, Just pictures like that, right? Then you go, uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Like on the end of the video, I'm gonna show you. So basically it's just a whole movie of pictures and then you uh, put a voice over, a voice note and you go like, you say the affirmations, you say, I am living a luxurious lifestyle uh, over the picture that is like, you know, luxury. Um, then the picture of healthy, I am healthy and blah, blah, blah. And you go like that, like for each picture. And what happens is before you go to bed and when you wake up, the first thing you do is you look at that little movie that you created on your phone and you repeat what it says and you listen to your own voice saying it, right? What, what What's happening then is your mind, yeah, is going to register the goals because it's easy to say, oh, I want to be successful. I want this. I want that. What does success mean to you? What does it mean? We don't know what that means unless you literally create a whole movie and you see and you can visualize it for yourself, right? If I say I am living a luxury lifestyle on my video, I can see myself. I can see myself living a luxury lifestyle. You know, I can visualize it. I can put emotions into it. And when you put emotions into something, that's what you attract. That's what comes into your life. So I'm telling you, if you do this, like even for 30 days, every single day, you look at your little movie that you created before you go to bed. And when you wake up, 100% you'll start manifesting things. I said this in my previous video, listen to guided meditation, at least for 30 days. Listen to a guided meditation, choose one, choose one. If it's money that you want, if it's love that you want, if it's health that you want, if it's, if it's, I don't know, a house that you want, whatever, self-love, whatever. Listen to a guided meditation about it every single day. I listen to one on YouTube, it's for money, right? I've been listening to that one now for almost a month. Yeah, exactly a month. Um, literally, like my income started exploding. 
like literally money coming from everywhere brand deals uh, my youtube channel completely exploding like everything money every single day i sleep even if i don't upload i make money i make money that's how powerful these things are i'm telling you listen to a guided meditation every single night before you go to bed look listen to one particular one every night do it say affirmations to yourself in a mirror listen affirmations have changed my life affirmations have just completely changed my thinking my mindset my reality my world literally everything and you know why there is something so powerful i have a mirror here there is something so powerful of looking yourself in the mirror and saying you are mesmerizing you are beautiful you are powerful you are living a luxury lifestyle you are loved you are admired saying things like that looking yourself in the eyes and saying that to yourself listen in the beginning when you do that right it's gonna feel fake it's gonna be like i feel like i'm lying to myself i feel like this is not real but the more you do it and i swear because you repeat it you repeat it you repeat it you start to believe it when um on TikTok, there was this one affirmation. It became famous. I do not chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. I started saying that, right? And in the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. After a while, you know what happened in my head? I literally, without even realizing, started believing that I do not chase. And I stopped chasing everything. I only attract. And what belongs to me will find me. So what happened is I became so laid back, so detached of everything, and my manifestations started coming in like crazy. Because you know why? Liz was not giving out her energy anymore. Liz was preserving her energy. All her energy was with her. So my manifestations were like, damn, that girl is whole. We want to be a part of that girl's life, you know? There was no leakage anymore. I wasn't leaking to everyone, ever trying to please everyone. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? No, no, no. Is Liz okay? Are you okay, Liz? Are you okay? Say affirmations to yourself in the mirror. Say affirmations to yourself in the mirror. Look up self-love affirmations. Uh, you can look this up on Google Images, like Pinterest, whatever. Self-love affirmations, uh, health affirmations, wealth affirmations. Uh, love affirmations any affirmations repeat them to yourself in the mirror while looking at yourself i do this every single morning i do this every single night do this i have one thing that i've been brought up uh, with and it's basically being grateful being grateful is beautiful beautiful thing you know why like it just when you receive something and you just say like, wow, thank you that I got this manifestation, that I got this goal of mine. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, God. Thank you so much. Like I, I literally am so grateful that God cannot do anything but give me more. Because look at her. She's smiling. She's glowing. She's happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then he's like, wait, let me give her more. Maybe she'll get happier, you know? And I just believe that I get blessed like that because you guys don't realize how, how good your lives are, you know? Like even right now, most of you guys are living the manifestations that you wanted. You already got them. But did you show gratitude? Did you say thank you? The thing is do the work towards the goal, right? You cannot write down, I want to become a successful model and just sit like this in your room. Honey, first of all, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna apply to agencies. Yes, we're gonna apply to agencies. We're gonna take care of the hair, we're gonna take care of the skin, take care of your body. Um, make sure you go out places where you, you where you can be seen, where you, where you know you can be approached and all, all of that. You have to do the work towards it. But you know what's beautiful when you write it down? You don't have to worry. Because when you apply to the agencies, when you go somewhere, 
what God will do is, or the universe, they put people into your life that are like, hey, do you want do you want modeling? Have you ever considered modeling? You know, things like that. You'll start to see like, oh wow, this works, you know? So for example, I'm trying, I was uh, trying to manifest more money, right? I didn't have to do anything anymore. I listened to guided meditation and my YouTube blew up even more. So I started earning even more money just from doing nothing because I have already create. I've already done the work. I've already created the YouTube channel. Now, if I listen to these meditations, they'll, they'll just grow and grow and grow and I'll just get money, 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 you know? But you have to do the work. You can't just sit and be like, yeah, that's it. I wrote down, I want a YouTube career. Imagine I never filmed a video. No, I did the work. I did the work and I was consistent and now I'm here. Now I want you, once you've wrote it down, once we have everything, once you're doing the work, I want you to be patient. You have to be prepared as well. You know what happens when you're trying to manifest something? Sometimes you lose people that are not meant to be with the highest version of you. Let me repeat that. You lose people that are not meant to be with the highest version of you. Your contract with them ends because you're about to evolve and you have to recognize when that's happening and you have to let those people go. Because what happens is, and I've seen this in my life, when I was not willing to let go of an ex, right? Because it was stable, it was comfortable, I was getting everything I wanted. I would have never found this partner of mine because I was still clinging on to the comfort. I had to completely let go and be like, you know what? No, this is not what I want anymore. I want something else. That's when my, when my manifestation came in. And you have to recognize when it's time to let go. Sometimes you need to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. Sometimes you need to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. Wow. And of course, believe that you deserve it. You deserve it. And stop blocking your own blessings. You know what? Sometimes blessings come in the form of an opportunity. If, for example, a boss comes to you, he's like, you know what? Yeah, you could have, you could, you could work here and like this promotion you could get if you want and blah, blah. Don't laugh it off and be like, haha, yeah, whatever. Say like, oh yeah, really? How? How can I get it? Because you have to understand, sometimes God sends people as in blessings. And if you do not accept the blessings, how can your manifestation come true? You know, that's why like if somebody wants to, if somebody wants to do something for me, if somebody offers me something and I think like, oh, this is actually really nice. I always accept it because that is showing as well to God. I believe that I deserve this. I believe that I deserve good things to happen to me. And that's why good things will happen to me. Once I made the switch in my life that I believe that I deserve to live a good life, that I don't have to feel bad about that either. That's why my life started really becoming good. And I just believe that I literally create my own reality. Literally. As well, I had this belief in myself that was so much stronger than my fears that I just literally, there was no choice but to accomplish it. I went against every single person in my family, around me, every single one to achieve what I want to achieve. And today, every single person is proud of me. Every single one of them are proud of me because I did what I said I was going to do and there was no stopping me. You could not stop me. You could not stop me from, from achieving what I wanted to achieve. That's how focused I was. And you know, people are like, like that are just dangerous. They create this focus and they just go for it. And you know, at that moment, when, when, when everybody's against you, when the odds are against you and everything is against you and you're the only one that's like, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. You know who is with you then? God is. Like, you know what? I'll help her because now I can see that she wants it. When I was younger, I used to look at these videos that were like, if you want something as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. 
And I've never, ever understood what that meant. But I would listen to it, listen to it. And I was like, what does that mean? As bad as you want to breathe, you know? Until I was in a situation that was like, everybody was against me. I was alone. I was crying. I, I, I was so lost. But you know what I was not going to do? Quit. Because there was no way, there was no way that I was not going to get what I wanted. This time in my life, I had suffered enough abuse in my life for me not to turn it around. This time, I was going to take control. And this time, I want you to take control. Enough. Enough. Enough crying. Enough being sad. Enough saying tomorrow. Start now with what you have. Start. No matter how small it is, get the knowledge. Put yourself out there. Work towards the goal. I know you can do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'm literally about to go to sleep, but I wanted to make this video before I go to bed. Um, I really love you guys so much. I want you to realize how far you've come, uh, what you accomplished in life, how beautiful that is. How beautiful it is that we get wiser every single day, that we're trying every single day, that we're trying to, to become that version that we always wanted to be, that we're trying to heal the traumas that we didn't create. <laughs> Applaud yourself. Love yourself. Tell yourself, I am amazing. I am wonderful. I am strong. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Okay, so first you go onto Pinterest, you go onto Google, you collect all the pictures that you want for your dream life, and then you download the app called InShot. Then you click on New, you select all the pictures that you have uh, for your dream life, you just select all of them. So when you selected all the pictures, you click on the green thing, then it creates, you wait a little. Okay, so now you have all your pictures lined up next to each other. So it should be, if it's about luxury lifestyle, like the pictures for luxury lifestyle should all be backing each other. Then you're gonna click on text. When you click on text, you put your affirmation, you, you type it down like, I am living a luxury lifestyle. You write it down. And if you click on the color palette, you can edit the color, you can edit how thick you want, you can edit the whole text. So now you're gonna match your affirmations with your pictures. So you put the right text underneath the right video and you can drag it like underneath, you can see the dragging button. Then you go for like your dream mansion, you write, I live in my dream mansion. And you go on like that for each picture, right? And you can drag it how long you want the text to stay underneath which picture. So you just keep doing that for each picture. Uh, I have my dream relationship. You drag it, whatever. You, you know the gist by now. So once you are down, done typing the affirmations on the pictures, you click on the little music note and you select record and you are going to start saying the affirmations out loud. So you put a voice note over every single thing. So if it says, I am living a luxury lifestyle, you say it. You say with the voice note, I am living a luxury lifestyle. And like that, you go for each uh, affirmation that you have typed down. And once you're done for each affirmation, you just save it and you listen to it every day.